All right, everyone, it is day three in the greater Missouri area, and today we're going to be exploring some habitat that I have been to before, but we're going to try to find new pockets of habitat in this general area. The big target today is a coach whip, but we're always looking for more milk snakes, and there's tons of cool bycatch here that we could potentially run into. So, how are you feeling, Graham? <laughs> I am feeling good. I got one of my favorite shirts on today. All right. And we had a great breakfast. All right, we have our first turp of the day, and it's a pretty good one. That is a three-toed box turtle. It is. This guy has some insane claws. Look at that. All right, we're going to leave this guy right here. Hopefully, we'll see more, but you can see his shell is more of kind of a uniform coloration than most eastern box turtles, and that's kind of a characteristic of three-toes is they just have this kind of... I don't even know what color that is. Ochre? Yellow? Yellowy? It's like olive green. Yeah, kind of olivey shell. Ooh, lots of ring necks. Look at that. Beautiful guys. Look at all of those. There you go, dudes. Well, it appears there's gonna be no shortage of ring necks at this spot. We've already gotten into quite a few. All right, here we have some western slimy salamanders, Plethodon albagula, a different species than we get back home, but uh, pretty similar in appearance overall. Here's a western worm snake. This guy is very in shed, but still a very, very pretty snake. Hopefully we'll see some uh, freshly shed ones today. Here's a rough earth snake. Here's a new one for the episode, and something we haven't seen many of this year, if any. A rough earth snake. These guys are weirdly common in this part of Missouri, so we'll probably see more of them today, but really cool. Oh, so Graham just got popped by a bark scorpion. <laughs> what finger did it get you on? You got me right here. You can see the... It's super red. If It hurts, too. Let me tell you. <laughs> Dude, it's weird. It's like, like I can feel it in the... It's not the muscle. It's the bone, like, near the joint. Like, it's weird. Ah, it feels like I broke my finger, like, right here. That's gnarly. Ah, it feels like it got squished under a rock. So yeah. that right there is the lady that just got Graham. I believe that this is a gravid female. She is very, very chunky and healthy looking. But yeah, that's a striped bark scorpion. Very painful sting, but you'll probably be fine if you get hit by one of these. They're not considered to be dangerous to people other than maybe scaring you and making you uh, think you got bit by something much more dangerous because of how much it hurts. Dude, for a second there, there was so many snake names going through my head like, uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, not long after Graham got stung by a scorpion, we found a very big rock, and underneath it was this beauty. Uh, there will be a lot more footage of this guy in the, uh, the upcoming project that Graham and I are working on, but for now, here's a quick look at our first milk snake of the day. Hopefully there will be more to come. These ones, dude. There we go. <laughs> All right, guys, Graham just flipped our next milk of the day. A very vibrant little guy compared to the last one. Still uh, not quite as vibrant as the ones we were seeing in Illinois, but a great looking snake nonetheless. And uh, kind of follows the same, at least, pattern trends that the last one did with a little bit higher band count and uh, kind of a more grayish coloration in between the orange rather than white between the red, like we saw in Illinois. Good looking snake. Heck of ring necks. Jeez, how many we got here? One got away. Look at that. See, check this next rock over. There's more under here. At least two more. Jeez. Hey, man. Whoa, so many snakes under here. Dude, this is the biggest earth snake I've ever seen. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh. Here, grab those two. Look at the, all right, we've got all these ring necks I'm gonna let go. But look at, look at that. <laughs> Holy god. Yeah. That thing's half a rubber boa. That is a big unit of a rough earth snake. All right, dude. A big unit. Big unit. A meter away. Wow. Jesus. 
so many snakes in this little area. Yeah, dude, it's like really one of the most impressive things when you get into... Get out so I can put your rock back, my dudes. Racer. Oops, sorry. The, <laughs> I bumped your GoPro. Racer. Second racer of the day. Third. Well, there is the next racer. Another in shed one, just chilling under this rock. We will leave him right there. Was that the racer? Hopefully not. Oh, there's two of them under there. This is the one we just flipped. Hey, what's up? Dead. Come on, guys. All right, well, we reflipped that one and then flipped another one right next to him. Graham just flipped two of these guys. We, uh, we found a couple in a previous episode and we saw one in shed earlier today. But that is such a beautiful little snake. Look at that. That is a Western worm snake. So many snakes today. Lots of ring necks, lots of earth snakes, lots of racers. A couple milks. Graham found a collared lizard. So one of the crazy things about collared lizards is they have a very defensive disposition. You can see he's just sitting here on this rock. He could run away, but if I wave my hand around him, he will actually follow it and track it like a, like a big snake would. And they will actually jump and latch onto you. It's pretty gnarly how athletic these guys can be when it comes to trying to bite you. They do not hesitate to use those big, powerful jaws to uh, get you to leave them alone. But this is actually a male. They are sexually dimorphic. You get a lot more colorful, larger males. And then the females will kind of tend to be a more lighter coloration. Generally, the big blue guys are boys, and the uh, smaller ones with a little more orange are, are girls. But very, very awesome lizards. Digging under there. There we go, that's my spot. I'm gonna back in. Very nice. All right, Graham has flipped our next snake. Oh, that's awesome. That is a beautiful Osage copperhead. Really, just a copperhead at the end of the day, but you can see those white highlights on the bands are kind of an Osage copperhead thing. Just ever so slightly different looking than the ones we see in Georgia, but a beautiful snake nonetheless. We'll uh, put his little rock pile back together and continue with our day. Graham has flipped yet another copperhead. Oh, it's a little guy. Nice little snake. <laughs> looks like a Georgia copperhead. Out. Look at that dude. Hello. <laughs> He's hot. What a little firecracker. Yeah. Jeez. Man, this little guy is jumpy. All right, we'll let him go back under that rock and then continue with our day. Fantastic little copperhead. Second one of the day. Second one in the last 10 minutes. Well, my GoPro is dead, but Graham just flipped our third milk of the day. A little guy who is unfortunately pretty deep in shed under a huge rock yet again. But uh, nothing crazy. We'll just get some quick shots of this guy and let him go and uh, hope we can get another in shed or out of shed milk. But it is definitely getting a little toasty out here right now. So the snakes are hot, the rocks are hot and we are getting tired. Here is a big worm snake I just flipped. Not the most colorful one, but you can see just how far up the sides the pink comes on these guys. It's insane. Such beautiful little fossil real snakes to have around. Love it. Look at this thing. That is crazy. He's got his head stuck in this rock crack right now. What are you doing, dude? Such iridescence. Just such a pretty snake. And they get way prettier than that, if you can believe that. We found mostly pretty average looking ones on this trip so far. I've never seen this kind of bawling behavior in an eastern worm snake. It's just weird. But at the same time, really cool. I mean, he's basically tied himself in a little worm snake knot. <laughs> Look at that iridescence, though. I've rambled on about this worm snake more than any other snake we found today, but I just can't get over how cool they are compared to the... Uh, the Easterns and the Midwesterns. Much like the collared lizard, 
Tarantulas also come to the furthest east extent of their range in this part of Missouri. Look at that guy. Love to see it. Of course, now that my GoPro is dead, I flip that thing. Best milk of the day by far. Look at that. That is beautiful. Holy cow. Well, that is the cleanest milk snake we've seen today. Very, very reminiscent of the Illinois snakes. Maybe a little bit dirtier in between the bands, but very, very beautiful nonetheless. I hope we didn't disrespect those uh, snakes earlier by saying they were a little bit dull, but... All right, buddy. There you go. Me. Well, it took all day, but there is a speckle king. Very, very in shed, unfortunately. All right, first speckle king of the day. Might be the only one of the day, considering it took this long to find one. I think it's like three or four o'clock at this point. But that would be an amazing snake out of shed, but he has quite a ways to go before he's ready to come out of that skin. So we will put him back under his rock. Great looking snake, even deep in shed. You go with him? Yeah. All right, dude, I'll put him in the grass and see where he goes. I'm assuming he's gonna go right back to his rock. No, he is not. What are you doing, dude? You were under here. He is in shed after all. All right, y'all. Well, we're probably calling it a day here. It has been pretty fantastic, but also pretty exhausting. And uh, my GoPro died, so I missed that last milk flip clip, which I'm a little salty about. But yeah, fantastic day in Missouri. We might hit a couple more spots, roadside type spots if we get a chance to. But if not, we have to go get some food because we have been out here all day and we are exhausted. Hey, here's an on the way back to the car guy. Our second three-toed box turtle of the day. Look at that guy. Very, very cool. We will leave him to his business though. Very nice to see two of these today. I was hoping we'd see one in Missouri and we got two today.